August 27th, 5 a.m. Four monstrous eruptions ripped through the volcano, generating the loudest recorded sound in human history. The explosive eruptions throw out billions of tons of pulverized rock, scalding hot ash and gas that accelerate down and away from the volcano with enough power to climb over heights twice as tall as the Empire State Building. Miles away, the residents of Kedembang gathered to watch the eruption from a distance. They might expect a pyroclastic flow when it hits the sea to stop because of the water. But that's not the case. Sometimes a pyroclastic flow, if it's strong enough and hot enough, it can hit the sea and keep on traveling. Steam forms around the front of the flow and protects it from the water. Within minutes, the super fast, super hot debris crosses the 25 miles of water. Probably the last thing that they ever saw was a pyroclastic flow emerging from the waves. Around 1,000 of Ketambang's residents die instantly. But the disaster isn't finished yet. During Krakatoa's final death throes, the volcano collapses into the ocean. The splash triggers a tsunami of epic proportions, traveling at 200 miles per hour. Tens of thousands of people, mostly in Java and Sumatra, perish in the tsunami, making it the most destructive tsunami created by a volcano in history. As the sun sets on August 27, 1883, Krakatoa is no more. The volcano has blown itself out of existence.